Who's ready for some hot? Hi, everybody. James Zabowski for EA Sports. Some of the best squads on the planet ready to collide on the ice. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. The Indians win the draw, and they'll start on the attack. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Moves into the slot. Off the outside of the iron, and will play on. Oh, a great chance there, James, and an opportunity to get the go-ahead goal, but the pipe gets in the way, and it says, not today. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Robitaille's gonna play it against the half wall. It's in, he scores! Takes a deflection off of skating in. Well, at first I wasn't sure if it went directly in, but it did it. He directed off of the skate. This is a tough break. You're the defensive team, you're in good position. Just trying to box out, and the next thing you know, it's in the back of your net. Well, I love this play and really the relentless will to shield the puck. I mean, it's not easy to ward off your opponent numerous times as you're getting pushed and shoved, James. He finds a way to do it, and he buries it. Toronto's on the board. The crowd's loving it. I even think the coach is smiling on the bench, too. That's always a good thing when you look back at your coach and they're smiling because it doesn't happen often, James. <laughs> but one thing that does get a smile is a great start because they now know that you were ready right from puck drop, not from just a physical standpoint, but from an emotional side, too. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Toronto's up one zip. And they take possession here in the offensive zone in time to go on the attack. Koshik's going to slow it down here and hang on for the whistle. Well, a good decision right there to dictate the tempo of the game, especially when he hasn't been busy. He's engaging right now. The car's aware that he needs to step up for his team, guys. His zone ability is one part of his game that can help his team close this gap. And that shot dies in traffic. The Indians gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. After that, textbook stop by Hashik. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Big face-off coming up here in the offensive zone. Well, after that last shift with sustained pressure, you know that the goaltender is fatigued. You gotta find ways to get pucks to the net. Grabs control of it at the point. And that goes off the player in front. And that's turned aside. And that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Oh, and I think that goes off the mask, and it stays out, and play continues. Play rolls on. From the left wing, takes the feed. Quick shot, and the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Here's a short pass to Matthews. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Delayed penalty looming. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Whistle blows, stopping the play. You can see the frustration as he slams the penalty box door, James. That's the second of the period. He knows he's put his team in a bad spot. and to get these guys out there. Stones got it along the wing. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice and make himself as big as possible. Neuendijk's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Makes the glove stop. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Oates gets set for the face-off here as they will continue to play shorthanded. Offense is on face-off and he wins the draw. And not much on that one. The Indians have it behind the net. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone.
they're giving him the respect. They're all on their feet, giving him a standing ovation after making that huge save. Well, here we go. Big time face off in the offensive zone for this power play unit. Well, and they haven't made any mistakes, right, James? They're moving the puck. They're finding ways to attack the net. They just haven't put it in, and they're up against a tired goaltender. They got to smell blood, and they got to put it away. Can't generate opportunities on the power play when you spend the majority of it in your own zone, and the fans certainly don't like it. Let's go! Especially teams are often the difference maker. It's why you spend so much time in practice working on them, James, and they took advantage of their opportunity. Let's have another look at this, James. Yep, yeah, there it is. I mean, look at that net front presence, just the screen and the goaltender battling to find the puck. That's exactly what you need in the paint on the power play. And as a result, they score. The Leafs are firing on all cylinders so far here in period number one, Cheryl. They've been playing with a lot of energy, and they've been aggressive, and it's their habits. You can tell that they worked on them, and they've talked about them pregame, and they have certainly executed in this first period. Shot! Trips up and away! And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Past the halfway mark of this period, Toronto's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Barkov's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Takes a shot, and that turns off a body in traffic. Coughs it up on the play. The Indians ready to go on the attack. Hull's going to play to the corner. From the point, looks to make something happen. That's blocked by Hoshik. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. The Indians are looking to even things up here. They've had plenty of looks, but they still trail in the first. Barkov's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Quick pass to Hull. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Toronto stuck control of it now from their own end. Moves it quickly over to Iserman. The Leafs take it across the blue line. Takes a shot. Denies him. Saros negates the scoring opportunity. James really quick to set to position and face the shooter dead on. Green's got it against the boards. Let's it go from the slot. Glove save. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Just here in the late stages of this frame, 2-0 is the score. The Indians will go to work here in the offensive zone. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Through center along the wing. The Indians scoop it up along the boards. Moves the puck behind the net. And that one's turned away. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. The Indians would love to go into this first intermission all evened up as they trail here despite outshooting the opposition. And they win the faceoff and set up to go on the attack. There's the whistle. We get a faceoff after the goalie covers up. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. They win the draw and go on the attack. Is there. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. And he heard the answer on that one. It doesn't go. Grabbed along the board by Fillier. The Leafs get a hold of the puck. Gaining momentum along. The Indians gain control of the puck against the wall. Shot! Big Oh, the buzzer! A big save! And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around.
Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment? hashik has been fantastic in the game so far, James. I mean, he's the only reason his team is still in it. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Lots of time left in this period. We've got a 2-0 game here tonight. And they'll start with possession. Left save made by Hoshek. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. The Indians haven't had a lack of scoring opportunities, but they are still behind on the scoreboard. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Moves it to Robitaille. Nice zone entry from the middle. Fires it on net. Great save by Seros. He's so fast, he's strong, but he can turn on a dime. And if he turns and you're just a step behind him, guess what? You're not getting back in, and he's going to take it to the paint. Both teams ready here for the faceoff. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And there's the save. Poked away in the offensive zone by Fillier. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. And he loses control of the puck. Takes a knock, but he's still got the puck. Puts it on net. Denied by the goaltender. Puck picked up by Coffey. Looking to make something happen at center. Make a change, make a change. Skates to the crease. Tremendous stop by Seros. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. The Indians have been the busier team offensively with plenty of scoring chances, just no finish, and they trail here in period two. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. The Indians have it behind the cage. Quick shot with the stop. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Toronto's got a 2-0 lead. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. That's blocked. McDavid's moving the puck through his own zone. Stay on his feet after that hit. Into the attacking area from the left side. Tries to the crease. Scores! Brad Marchand! Well, he had his eyes on the puck. He tracked it perfectly and got himself set to position, James. I thought he had it. He got a good chunk of it. have come to life here in the second. Cheryl, what's your assessment now? Well, I like the way they've played. They've had a ton of possession. They're just sticking with the game plan, and they get rewarded with that goal. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face-off. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. Yeah, they're going to fight here. There's been an edge all game and a chip on the shoulder, and it results in a player down. Anytime a player's down, you know that you're going to have your teammates back. This was going to happen either way. When the fight started, the fans erupted, and then all of a sudden the tilt went the road team's way, and it got awfully silent in here. to say that was a rather spirited affair on the ice. Looks like both teams have cooled their jets. And here's the upcoming face-off. Barkov won the face-off here in the offensive zone. 
Heads to the back of the net. Toronto stopped the puck. Matthews plays it now. Toronto got it in the offensive zone. The Indians gain possession. McAvoy stick handling in his own zone. Moves inside. Stopped by the goaltender. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Past the midway mark in this period. It's a 2-1 game. The Indians take possession off the faceoff. Too many bodies in the way. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Wrap around a tip denied. What a stop as he was locked in on that one. Yeah, James, he'd sealed the one post and then recognized that the shooter was going around the goal line and gonna do the wraparound. He pushed across and made a brilliant save. The Indians really need to find a way to start finishing on some of these scoring chances because they trail here in the middle. Good save! Hasek has been so consistent throughout tonight's game, and I mean, he's made timely saves as well. A lot of shots that he's faced, and his save percentage is an indicator of it. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. The Indians will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Into the corner now. She's still got it after taking a bump. And does it again. Takes the puck behind the net. Turned away on the wraparound. Oh, what a great reactionary stop there. Reactionary is right, James. He knew exactly where the shooter was going and a strong push across to be able to make that save. In the final moments of this period, the Leafs lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Great save by the Tendi on the well, you gotta have a strong push if you want to be able to go post to post, kids, and that's exactly what he does to make the save. The Indians need to start finishing on some of these chances here as we are now late in the second. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Here's a chance! Makes a save! Green's back on the ice after serving the five-minute major for fighting, and he had an opportunity to rest and relax in the box, as sometimes fighting can take a lot out of you. He steps on the ice and gets a great scoring chance. His time is better served on the ice. And they win the offensive zone face-off. Now let's see if they can capitalize. And he makes the save. Toronto's got the puck in the defensive end. The Indians gain control of the puck. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Toronto's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Tosses it to Iserman. And nearing the final minute of the second. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Quick feed to Smith. The Indians break out of their own end with one last chance. Shot! Oh, and he comes up with a big stop there. Shot! 40 minutes down, still another 20 to go here in this one. Join us for period number three, next. So far. The Indians have a one goal deficit heading into the third period here, James, but you gotta like the way they played through 40 minutes. I mean, they've held the puck, they've had possession time, and I think their effort areas have been quality. They just have to find a way to convert and try and get this tie. Shuts them down. 
Fillier's carrying it ahead. Moves behind the net. Press one in front. Turned aside with the glove by Hoshik. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. The Indians need to get one back here as they trail early in this third period, despite putting a lot of pucks on net. Goes right to the crease. Puck grab by McCall. Hoshik's gonna opt for the whistle. I don't mind this call here in the third. Neither do I. Listen, he has been so dialed in all night, James. He has been excellent, arguably their best player. And he's trying to preserve the lead here by holding on to this one to get the face off. The Indians win that offensive zone face off. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. On the redirect! The Indians have it now. And that one's stopped. Hoshik's gonna hang on to the puck and get a stoppage in play. Nothing gives confidence to a team more than a big save, and he's been doing it all night, James. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Toronto's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. The Indians win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Denied by the goaltender. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. The Indians win the draw. A point blank. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. The Indians take possession here inside the offensive zone. McCarr has got him along the boards. Here he is in front. Scores! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. And now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. I think he makes a really good read here, James. He anticipates the play well and gets himself square to the shooter. But unfortunately, this one hits him and he seems to be a little leaky because it finds its way to the back of the net. The Indians have got to keep pressing here, Cheryl. After getting that equalizer, they've got to feel that buzz right now. Yeah, they'll want to build on top of that goal and really just continue to do what they've been doing all game, and that's possess the puck. We've been waiting for this to happen because they've been all around it. It finally did. Toronto's got the puck. Slides it over with pace to Hemsky. Fires it! Oh, solid save by Saros. Gains the zone along the right wall. Good hit. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Here's a shot. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. Now a quick pass to Matthews. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Throws it in. The Indians have it against the wall. Here's a short pass to Johnston. Drives to the paint. Denies him in close. Well, oh, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Indians win it. Takes a shot. And turns it aside with the glove. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's outworking your opponent and finding a way to make the save. Barkov's won the draw. Makes the move in front. Oh, a clutch save. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. More than half the frame has been played here. We are all tied up in this one. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. Hall's got it in the corner. Here's a chance. Wrap around a tip denied. What a stop as he was locked in on that one. Yeah, James, he sealed the one post and then recognized that the shooter is going around the goal line and gonna do the wraparound. He pushed across and made a brilliant save. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop.
Toronto's got the win off that draw. And he slides it quickly to Robitai. And now it's to Solani. The Leafs in transition at center. I've really enjoyed this game tonight, James. It's been tight, it's been fast-paced, defensively structured, and you never know which way it's going to end. Off the face, off, they take the puck. Into the offensive zone. Big draw looming here in the offensive zone. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Play is called for offside. Strong, and we are back underway. Quick pass to Barkov. With possession along the wall. Here he is with the backhander. Turns it away. Now the shooter's going to run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Here in the late goings of the period, it's all tied up. The Indians going to work on offense. And the puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it over from center. Scooped up along the wall by Green. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. The Indians will play it against the Wolves. Oh! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands. And now it's about building off of that good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone, everything now. Would that goal have gone up by one here in the third? Well, you're better up by one than down by one, James, but there's a lot of runway left. Now it's a mindset of attack, but be defensively responsible. Moves it quickly over to Ovechkin. On the attack along the boards. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Ovechkin's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it, and the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on that. That's tenacity at its best. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Oh, stick save! Oh, and he oh, shuts shit. the door again! Oh, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot, and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it. You've got to be fast, you've got to be quick and show those reflexes. He does that and makes a save. Toronto's taking possession in their own end. Working the puck deep inside their own end. McDavid's gaining momentum. Takes a shot. Oh, and he stops that one that was served up with a whole lot of spice. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Final horn sounds bringing this one to a close. The Indians equipment staff may have actually put a layer of glue on their sticks tonight. They, they just continued to dominate the puck all night. Yeah, they were in control of the game and their opponent was chasing it. I mean, they just got worn down shift after shift. And you know what? They were also urgent with the puck. Sometimes you can get static and you can just get lulled and lofted into the perimeter, but they didn't. They weren't afraid to attack. Well, that brings the night to an end, and we will say goodbye here from rinkside from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. I got to get to bed. See ya.